see how high are the snow banks the snow looks pretty when it is fresh and white now they are plowing the road salting the roads and they are plowing again and all those dirt is thrown on the snow banks so they are not pretty any longer Okay, we are entering into Harvard Square now. This is JFK Street, uh, that is John F. Kennedy Street. On my left, immediately on my left is a John F. Kennedy School of Government. Uh, but you cannot see it because my camera is pointing towards the right. And I cannot change it. It, it is mounted to a device a windshield mount and while driving I cannot adjust the direction of it I have to adjust it before I start driving and well I'm not so much enthusiastic today to do too many adventurous things here lady I have the green light I have the green light, pedestrians, please let me go. Massachusetts drivers are not courteous at all. They don't follow the traffic rules. They, uh, everybody wants to go first. Even if there is a traffic sign that, sign that says yield, they do not want to yield. That's the way it is. People coming from other states always complain that it is very difficult to drive in your state and I agree. 
Well, we are kind of used to it. All right, the main purpose of this uh, today's filming is <laughs> filming the snow and I should have come out earlier. This is going on for the last two weeks or so. Uh, when the snow was cleaner, fresher, whiter, now the snow has become dirty. But well, something is better than nothing. At least you get an idea. Boston has break, bre broken all previous records of uh, snowfall in, in, a, in a winter uh, uh, until about the first week of uh, January or sometimes in January uh, the, uh, the average snowfall was well well below average I mean much below average and now we had three consecutive snowstorms and it has broken all the past records. And so much so that the, the schools are closed for days on and at a time. And uh, the government employees were given days off. I, in fact, a lot of the employers uh, told their employees not to come to work because of the weather and the snow situation. And since yesterday or two days ago, the governor of Massachusetts has declared emergency. The state government employees who are non-emergency employees uh, have been asked to stay at home. That's why, if you have noticed, we do not have too much traffic on the road or too much pedestrians on the road because it's a holiday today. A holiday uh, because of snow. It's a snow day that has been declared. The schools are closed. The offices are closed, businesses are closed, everything is closed. Reality today is uh, Tuesday. I forgot the date. Something like February 10 or something. And uh, normally everything should be open, but because of snow and inclement weather, uh, it has been declared as a snow day. And the only good thing is the temperature. I can tell the temperature right now is above freezing because things are melting a little bit. The situation became so bad because we have three consecutive snowstorms and the in-between days were well, well, well below freezing. So no snow got a chance to melt. So it was piling up and up and up and produced so much of a problem. People have no room to throw the snow, the shovel. You can shovel, but you have to dump the snow someplace. And the snow banks are about 10, 12 feet high now. So who has that strength to throw the snow 12 feet high, in the, high up in the air to dispose it? So that's causing all the problems. Too much snow, too little space to put them in.
Thank you, lady, for letting me go. See, some of the cars on my right are completely buried. These huge heaps of snow. Many of these has cars underneath. They are like buried in igloos. A lot of people did not, you know, uh, dig out their cars because they could not. They will be buried here till springtime, I think. Wow, taking this turn is a problem. Ten feet high snowbank on both sides. I cannot see what's coming from the other side. That was the intersection. Now I'm trying to get back to my own house in my own driveway. Uh, very narrow space. But I have to try. Back up. Can I do it? Okay, almost made it. Almost. I think I'll keep the car right here. Thank you for watching. I'm uh, stopping my recording today. It has been a long recording. I'll break up the video in two parts. Uh, the subject of this video has been the blizzard of 2015 in Boston and subsequent snowstorms and the consequences of those snowstorms. Thank you for watching. This is Shobhan Sen saying bye-bye.